Good morning. Today is a Saturday, a day to remember our Blessed Mother. And today is also a feast of the presentation of Blessed Virgin Mary in the temple by her parents. And today as we are here to celebrate this Eucharist, let's ask our mother, Blessed Mary, to intercede for the blessings we need and for the graces that we need to live according to our call. And now we shall begin our Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let's ask God to forgive our sins and make us worthy to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. I confess in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, <coughs> to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercessions, that we, we too, may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Revelations. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts because those two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm from, one, from Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. 
Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praises. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia. I'm going to read the gospel reading from the feast day today. You may not have it in your books. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother, who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. As I told you in the beginning of the Mass, today we are celebrating the feast of the presentation of Mary. Is it in the gospel? No. Because gospels speak about Jesus. And we have presentation of Jesus in the gospels. The feast we celebrate on February the 2nd. So Jesus was presented by Joseph and Mary in the temple. But today we are celebrating the presentation of Mary by Anna and Joachim in the temple. We have most information about this feast and presentation of Mary in a book called Gospel of James or the Proto-Evangelium of St. James. Even now in many cultures, there's a, a tradition of presenting the children to God. I remember in one of the parish as a new pastor, a family came and said, Father, we want our child to be presented to God. I said, do you mean baptism? He said, no. We will schedule baptism in a few weeks. But we had a baby and first time we are coming home and we want the baby to be presented to God. And I, I have not done that before. I said, what should I do? So both the parents and me, we came and we stood at the entrance of the altar they gave the baby into my hands and they wanted me to raise it to God in a sign that before the blessed sacrament, give it to God, Father. And then I took the baby probably a few weeks, less than a month. I took the baby and held it to the heaven and said, I said a small prayer. And the mother said, God, we give this child to you because this child belongs to you. I was married and didn't have children for 18 years. I have been praying for a child for years and you have blessed me with this beautiful child and I raised her to be a worthy servant and today I present her to you. Even now, this happened probably some 10, 11 years before. That was the custom those days. Especially, the, especially children were, were treated as a gift from God. 
Anna and Joachim did not have children for a long time, though they lived a holy life. Not having a child was seen as a curse. And Anna used to pray, bless me with a child. And God has blessed them with a child in their old age. And then they brought, as they promised, Anna prayed, if you give me a child, I will offer the child to you. And Mary was born, and when she was three years old, as promised, Anna and Joachim brought Mary and left her in the temple, which was the custom those days, especially uh, children were born after a long period of time after their marriage. And Mary was there from three years up to 15. For 12 years, she was in the church. Most of the time, they would be taking care of cleaning the church, preparing for the worship and for the sacrifice. And they also learn about scripture and prepare themselves to offer their life for the sake of God. And today we celebrate the day that Anna and Joachim brought Mary to the temple to give it to God. God, this child has been given to you, and we offer this child to you for your service. In a way, dear brothers and sisters, that happens for all of us on the day of baptism. We offer ourselves to God. That happens every time we come for Mass. We present ourselves to God. I forgot the name of the saint who said this. No matter how weak we are, how small we are, if we are in the hands of God, we could turn to be a mighty power. Because God can do wonders with any one of us. But we need to present ourselves before God. We need to offer ourselves into the hands of God. Mary said, God has done great things for me. It's not the greatness of Mary, but Mary presented herself by her parents. Later, she herself presented herself to God, and God did great things for me. And if we present ourselves to God, God can work miracles, wonders in our own life too. We shall all stand and pray for our needs. For the church and all who preach the good news of God's mercy and promise of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord For national and local leaders, may Christ's example of servant leadership always be their guide. We pray to the Lord. Lord for, those who have, for those who grieve the loss of a loved one, may God's consolation and peace be upon them. We pray to the Lord. For the people of this faith community who engage in the corporal and spiritual works of mercy, may God bless their efforts. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they enjoy eternal life with the God of living. We pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray now? Lord, hear our prayer. 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 We shall pray for Betty Hen, for whose intention this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray, God of life, we lift our hearts to you in humility. We ask that you hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drawing. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the humility of your only begotten Son came, come, O Lord, to our aid, and may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin Mary did not diminish or but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise you, your mighty deeds, in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you, you gave us through her the author of salvation, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, let you do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let's pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, thy kingdom come, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, the shoulders shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthy, worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is centered. We shall go in peace. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <coughs> We sing the song.